Playing her favorite song on his phone, the rescuer then asks what she wants to eat. A Magnum ice cream, says 15-year-old Aifa. And then, after 99 hours, she's finally out. Give me a hug, says the rescue worker. This is the rescue of another teenager, 17-year-old Adnan. There are hugs and kisses for him, too. His mother says, God bless the rescue workers. In the ambulance, the reporter asks, how did you survive? Adnan says he had to drink his own urine. I was able to survive that way, thanks to God, he says. There are several UK teams in Turkey. This one is from London Fire Brigade. They help out a woman and then reunite her with her young daughter. In Syria, there was good news about this baby, who was born under the rubble. Her mother did not survive. Nurses have named her Aya. The doctor says she's bruised but getting better. Thankfully, there has been no harm. And this baby has just been rescued in Turkey. Yauz is 10 days old. You don't see her here, but his mother is also safe. So there are still good news stories, but they are becoming rarer. The exhaustion is plain. President Erdogan continues his visits of rescue centers and continues to face criticism for the initial response. While his counterpart in Syria, President Assad, has made his first public appearance in the quake zone. The aid situation there is still chaotic, as the realities of civil war frustrate supply lines. But in a time of crisis, you can take solace in the reassuringly normal, and a teenager being reunited with his phone is just one of those moments. Simon Viger, 5 News.